most street photographers fail. A lot of people generally stray away from this craft because of one thing. They rely on the momentum of inspiration to rule when they should go out and make their art. This in trade may be paralyzing for photographers when that tank of inspiration runs dry. They remember only the bad days rather than the good and they often let that dictate their drive. Now how do I know these things you might ask? Well, it's simple. This is me. I have failed and failed again at this craft we call street photography and it wasn't until I realized that failing is succeeding. Failing is the key to what drives success and today I want to talk more about how we as photographers can learn to accept failure and how to deal with the days where we feel like giving up. And towards the end of this video, I will be sharing four tips that you can use to make sure that you never fail at street photography. Some days, man, I feel like things are just left and right, photograph after photograph after photograph. Today, it feels more slow. I don't know how to describe it well. It just feels like I can't. Now, rather than starting off by addressing the issues, I want to open this message with the answer first. And that is, you must do the work and treat your craft like a job. Now, some of you may be completely turned off by this idea of mixing work and pleasure because for a lot of people, street photography is just that, pleasure. But folks, you are missing the point here. The idea is to use structure like you would at a job to approach your photography in a more systematic way. The problem is we all only want to shoot when we have momentum on our side and when our confidence is at an all time high. And this hinders us from creating actual meaningful work because with street photography, nothing is guaranteed. These moments that we are trying to capture can only be had if we put our bodies into a position to make that photo. And if we're only going out when we feel like it, we are missing out on so many opportunities to make life-changing images. There is a quote from Henri Cartier-Bresson that says, your first 10,000 photos are your worst. And by this, he is not saying you are going to make 10,000 terrible photographs and on 10,001, you are going to make the best image of your life. No, what he is saying here is you need to clock in the hours. And as you clock in with your camera, you are going to grow and learn. You're going to get more experience under your belt. And why is that? Because you are putting in the work. So here are my four simple solutions to make sure that you do not fail with street photography. Number one, create a schedule to go out and shoot. If you can only shoot twice a week, that's great, but make sure you show up on the days and time you schedule to. Remember, you can't get better if you are not putting in the work. I typically set aside one hour on weekdays to walk around with my camera, and on weekends, I'll spend the entire day making photos. This leads us into point number two, which is you must accept that not every day you are going to make great photographs. This is going back to relying too much on momentum or waiting for inspiration. If you let these variables control when or why you go out to shoot, you will never improve. We must come to the realization that most days we are not going to make good photos. And that's just a fact of the art form, but the time spent with your camera are more experience that you can clock under your belt, which is progressively pushing you forward as an artist. You need to have bad days, months, or weeks in order to taste the sweetness of the good when it arrives. Number three, treat your craft like it's your profession. This is something that Stephen Pressfield talks about in his book, The War of Art. You must treat your craft like a professional and show up every single day. A professional athlete doesn't show up to practice when he or she wants to. No, they go when they're scheduled to. They do it when they don't want to. Why? Because it's their profession. As photographers, we can think of the same thing. Show up when you are scheduled to. And even if you don't want to do it, if you really care about your art, you must be present to do the work. Lastly, look at your craft from the perspective of a career. Even if street photography is something that you just do for fun, you are still an artist. And like all artists, you have a desire to create. By looking at street photography as a career, understand that this is something you will be doing for a very long time. Shift your thinking to how things will unfold in the long run, and don't let the failures of one day carry over into the next. You must learn to push through these bad days because at the end of your career as an artist, you won't be defined by the days where you failed, but rather, by what you were able to pull out from them over a long period of time. Grab your camera, put in the work, and you will get better.